take us through where we're at at the moment. Obviously, this is as of Monday, the 16th of March. Moving on to the United States of America, which is obviously a huge player in this and uh, have been criticized heavily for not reacting quick enough to this thing. Um, the Federal Reserve announced an emergency rate cut, similar to what we saw in the, sta- in, in, in the UK, sorry, and yeah. they cut rates by 100 basis points. Right, and this was not like a regular cut at all. It's completely emergency. It was done on a proactive basis, and it's again, it's it's a try a measure to try and stimulate the economy to ensure that we we try and contain the bloodbath we're seeing across the stock market and across the yep. the general economic landscape. Absolutely, I mean, like you said, this was a proactive measure. Uh, the interesting thing that I took out of this. Um, is that this happened a few days before they were actually due to meet. Um, They have a six-weekly cycle to to meet and and kind of decide whether they're they're keeping rates the same. I also believe this is the second cut that they've done in recent times. Um, And as part of this, I believe they've also done a $700 billion stimulus plan. Um, And even with all of those things in place, we've still seen that bloodbath today. Really fascinating. Um, you know, it looks like there's there's nothing really that a government can do uh, that's going to be enough to put the worries of investors to ease. Yep, I think the bloodbath will continue. And and like you say, it's it's a huge amount of money. It's a huge amount of, of of stimulus to be pumped into an economy. But with the size of the economy of the U.S. and kind of the the breadth of it, it's 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 a huge huge marketplace. And so it's it's definitely the only lever these guys can pull. And hopefully it's gonna gonna kind of stem the the bleeding a little bit. Um, but like you say, a government can't stop this. It's it's one of those it, one of these global pandemics is going to impact every single market. And all you can do is try and limit your downside where possible. Yeah. Chad, we saw we saw Donald Trump turning around and and kind of changing his tune on this very very quickly. He's now announced a travel ban on 26 EU countries, including the UK, which kicks yep. in tomorrow, the day after we record this. So obviously trying to stop travel coming in. I've seen some terrifying videos of US airports with people waiting five to six hours to fetch their bags and go through the health screening and whatnot to get in or out of the country. And so I think yep. if you if you're trying to get home from from elsewhere in the US, you're really having a trouble getting into the country at this stage. Which is insane. I mean, just picture yourself being in the shoes of one of those people um, where, you know, you were maybe there on a holiday or you're actually there on business, whatever the case is. Um, Now it's time to come home. You're going to be coming home to a place where you are not going to be able to go into work as usual. Um, And now you're not even sure if you can get there. Um, What do you do? Uh, You know, if we we look at just the loss of earnings uh, during a a self-quarantine period, especially if you're self-employed or whatever the case is. Um, Now you've actually got to put yourself up in the US for who knows how long. Um, Really, really dire straits for anyone who's, who's in that position. Yeah, definitely. And those are sort of the, like the, the micro things we don't often think about when we chat about these topics. We, th- we think about the deaths, we think about like the economic impacts. Yep. We don't think about simple anecdotes like that, as someone stuck somewhere or stranded somewhere where they shouldn't be. Um, and, and that really does play, play a role in how panicked people are about this and how desperately they're trying to get back home before these bans are fully in place. And unfortunately, the ship has sailed. I think for a lot of the countries around the world, yeah. these travel bans are going to be in place for a while. And so you basically are stuck where you are, and you've got to do the best with what you can while you're there. In the U.S., we've seen kind of the same trend we've seen around the world, events being canceled left, right, and center. Some yeah. of the big ones, the NBA was canceled, which is the basketball league there, which is a huge deal. All the major music concerts, stand-up comedy shows. In New York and Los Angeles, they've closed bars and restaurants because there's lots yep. of people mingling there. And so the U.S. is going into a proper shutdown now as well. Um, I, I see, Chad, that two-thirds of the state schools have been closed yep. as well. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if this is uh, an official number. I don't know if this has been mandated by Trump, um, but it looks like in basically two thirds of the states, um, you know, these schools have kind of taken upon themselves to to close down, um, which is which is really interesting. Um, there's also that significant shortage of testing kits that we've we've spoken about across the globe. Um, I've seen images from Denver, Colorado, of cars just lined up, and I've literally never seen anything like this um, of people wanting to get tested. Um, which is absolutely fascinating. Uh, obviously, they have a different testing policy than the UK, um, but it looks like you know, as we've as we mentioned, there's just not enough kits to go around. Yep, and, and there's a lot of criticism being being hurled at, at President Trump and kind of the the administration for not preparing for this, having watched things happen in China, having watched things happen in Italy, and not having enough testing kits for Americans. I think America is very angry right now because they're in the midst of this, and I think that the numbers are going to be way worse than they're currently being reported because, as we say, we don't have enough testing kits. 
yeah, absolutely. Really, really worrying there. Hopefully one of these giant manufacturers can just come up with these tests and, and sort of spread them across the globe on a massive level. Pond, pond across the pond.